Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I honestly don't know why I'm happy right now because the past week has just been hell for me, honestly. I mean like some good news, I guess. I got monetized on YouTube, so now I start getting paid on YouTube, so that's great. My OnlyFans is still doing great. Um, I'm healthy, you know, surrounded by family. Got some new things coming soon, so that's exciting. But what's not exciting, and you can probably tell by the title of this video, is I got banned on TikTok once again. And it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling to, for years, work hard at something and then it just disappear like this. And a lot of you guys might say, oh, well, work hard, all you do is you know make racist videos and um suck up to trump and that's not what my platform is entirely you know what i mean like i do talk about my political views and i talk about trump and i talk about race issues etc um some people that's all they know me for and that's ridiculous but anyway I'm making this video to just explain how Democrats are taking over the media and I know there's Republicans watching this like oh my god Kayla like you're 100% right Prince come princess come come here princess come 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 here up come here come here sorry my dog is just acting up but um anyway like i was saying i know for a fact democrats are taking over they're trying to control um republicans i think it's ridiculous so for instance trump got banned or deleted taken off whatever you want to say on twitter i think that's unacceptable like the president of the united states off twitter it just doesn't make sense um it's just crazy. And then Candace Owens, some of you guys might know her, some of you guys might not. Um, she's a Republican speaker and Facebook is trying to delete her, right? Because they're Republicans, because they're conservatives, because they speak up about the truth. And a night ago before my TikTok got deleted, I made a video talking about how Trump got banned on Twitter and how I think it's wrong. I wake up and my account's deleted. I know all you guys that don't like me are laughing right now and that's totally fine. You guys are going to say, oh, it's payback, whatever, that's what you deserve. That's fine. But it makes you guys look low. You know what I mean? Like you guys are hiding from the truth. So you want to wipe people out and delete them off of social media platforms. Because you just are like, no, 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 blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear the truth. Delete. And it just doesn't make any sense, you know? And then I messaged one of the head people on TikTok because I've gotten banned before. And this wonderful lady, Nicole, one of the um, crew members of TikTok, got back with me. And she unbanned me two times before prior to this situation, me getting banned. And she was very helpful. Now, on the other hand, now that I got banned, um, someone got back with me and they said it was because of hateful speech. I don't know how, like that's just weird. And then I got back with another person and we were going back and forth and the reasoning was they banned me because of nudity. So what is it? Is it hateful speech? Is it violation of community guidelines, which they said at first, and then hateful speech, and then nudity? So TikTok, which one is it? Okay, like, that's where I get my income. That's not like the main social media where I get my income, but having so many people that see what I do within my life, um, and the videos that I make, 
that helps create a bigger income for other um, ventures out that I do within my life. Like, it just helps me, you know what I mean? And don't get me wrong, like, I do love my fans and I do love um, everybody that follows me, even the haters, you know what I mean? So, that's fine. I just think Democrats are taking over. I don't think that I know that. You know, first Trump, then Candace, now me. And they're even talking on the news how Democrats are taking over the media. Um, and, and something that I don't understand is how can China, right? How the hell can China, which is the owners of TikTok, how can they tell me what to do? Like, come over to America, guys. I, I just... It's ridiculous. You're telling me what I can and can't say. And if I support Trump, you're going to delete my whole account, which I worked my ass off for. And I have money saved up on that account. My money that they're taking, my, my money that I earned that they're taking, my valuable videos that I spent years creating, they're deleting that I don't even have. I have like this much out of this much videos that I've created and although I do have a backup, that does not have half as many followers that I have. On my main, I have over half a million. On my backup, I have like 20,000, which I'm still grateful for, but it's just unfortunate, you know what I mean? Like, it's only been two days since I've, um, not had my account I don't know when I'm gonna upload this I might you know come back and tell you guys in a couple days if I have my account back or not I don't know or I might just post this and then get back with you guys and let you know but I just think it's really unfortunate for Republicans and I know this one girl a lot of people fought for her on TikTok because she was a Republican she was a well-known Republican on TikTok and she was a political speaker on TikTok like I am you know political views that she had posted so I just don't think it's right how a Democrat can literally post on YouTube oh my god I want all white people to die um, I hate white people I love Biden Trump should get his head cut off someone can literally say all that their video is gonna stay up their accounts gonna stay up but I say oh my god Trump got banned on Twitter I think that's wrong and then I go to sleep and I wake up and my account's gone. Do you guys not find that like weird and off? Now, I'm not entirely blaming TikTok. I know a lot of it is just people that dislike me and then they hit the report button and then my stuff is banned or deleted. And I understand that. But TikTok is a major um, role in this. And I just think it's disgusting. Um... It shouldn't happen. It's like we're literally, Republicans are literally getting treated like dogs. <laughs> and like it's like we have a leash on us. And they're telling us when to, when to speak and when to not speak. And then if we speak and we say something bad or we do something bad, we're in the doghouse. And I don't think that's a way to live. Um, I think it's ridiculous. I really do. And then Democrats get to go out here <laughs> and they get to just destroy things and they get to say whatever they want and do whatever they want and they get praised for it but the second a republican opens up their mouth it's hell so i just think this world is turning to shit basically um but yeah i wanted to share that with you guys i'm gonna keep emailing tiktok i'm probably done with tiktok if um, I don't get my account back within the next week or two, which is unfortunate, but that's just the way things have to be because I, I'm not going to sit here and get on my knees and beg TikTok to unban me or, you know, give me my account back if I didn't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? Like I've already begged them. There's no, there's no reason in, in why I need to keep emailing them, keep trying to reach them. Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. They know I didn't do anything wrong. That's why they said, oh, we banned you because of violations of community guidelines. And then, a couple hours later, because I keep harassing them with emails, then they say, oh, it's because we banned you because of, um, 
um, like harassment of speech and stuff like basically just like talking shit and then they're saying because I keep harassing them a couple hours later then they're saying oh we ban you because of nudity so what is it what is it they're not trying to tell you the truth they're not going to tell you the truth because they can't say, oh, Kayla Belosky, we ban you because you like Trump. They can't say that because they know I can sue them because of that. And at this point, I'm considering it because um, it's wrong. It's really wrong. I mean, it's funny because they think they can get away with things like this. Um, it's just flat out wrong. But... Yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys, and I don't want my dog to jump off the bed because then she's going to, like, scratch up the door and ruin my video like she's been doing. But I'm going to have to edit this video like crazy. But, um, basically, I know I haven't been posting a lot on YouTube. I'm definitely going to start because TikTok is just not working out for me right now. Yeah, TikTok is just not my my thing right now it's just not working with me so I think I'm just gonna stick to YouTube and Instagram and <laughs> and OnlyFans stuff like that just things that I'm good at because clearly TikTok does just it doesn't want me right now they just don't want me so I'm gonna keep trying to get back with them trying to get my account back if I can't then oh well I'm just gonna do something else with my life but Anyway, thank you guys for listening. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to let me know what videos that you want to see next.